Let's talk fevers. That's good for the intro. <laughs> So, fevers actually help our bodies beat infections, and they do this by stimulating our immune system and also making it more difficult for the bacteria and viruses to survive in the heat. Normal body temperature is 37 degrees, but it does very little, and a fever is generally anything above 38 degrees. And that's it. A high temperature can be quite worrying, but most children and adults recover within a few days with no problems. But before we move to treatments, here are some red flags that you need to be aware of. You must seek urgent medical advice if your baby is under three months with a temperature of 38 degrees or higher. Or your baby is three to six months and has a temperature of 39 degrees or higher. Please make sure to read the description below or click on the link and it has all the other red flags to be aware of. Now, let's move on to tips and medications. Tip one, tepid sponging is no longer recommended. And this was the only sponge that I could find, so it will have to make do. This is because blood vessels constrict when the water touches the skin. So what happens is less heat is able to escape so it's kept in deeper parts of the body. Tip two, fluids. Try and drink about two liters a day, which is about eight to 10 glasses to prevent dehydration. Get plenty of rest, make sure you're not covered up too much. So basically, don't wear what I'm wearing right now and make sure the room temperature isn't too high. Tip four, try to eat nutritious foods. Your body's using a lot of calories to beat the infection. So give it the energy it needs. Now, let's move on to medication. Okay, so for children, consider giving them children's paracetamol or children's ibuprofen only if they're distressed. And these shouldn't be given together unless you're advised by a healthcare professional. Always check the age and weight restrictions for any medicines that you give. And also ask your pharmacist for an oral syringe so it's easier to administer medicine to a child. Adults, however, can take paracetamol or ibuprofen either together or separately to help a fever. Remember though, ibuprofen should not be given to anyone whose asthma attacks have been triggered by it or by any medicines in the same family. If you do want to try any of these medicines, always run it by your pharmacist, nurse practitioner or doctor first and always read the information leaflet. And that's it for this week's video. I think this is really useful information for everyone to know. So please help spread the word by liking, sharing, and tagging friends who'll find this information useful. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow, or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos. Can you hear this creaky floorboard? Oh, it's killing me. I made the red flag. Good quality, isn't it? Yeah.